my name is Pam and I'm here today for Life the Basic Manual. What I want to share with you today is one of the things that gives me joy and a uh, feeling of life in my daily experience and gets me back into the now and that is my artwork. And I've been painting now for about 15 years off and on. I'm a semi-retired psychotherapist so it's not what I do for a living, but I have a lot of fun doing it. And one of the things that I do, and I'm going to share with you here, I think you can see this, is um, a recent painting that I did for a neighbor who, it's her dog who passed away, and she asked me to paint this picture. And what I did with this particular approach is I took a photo and made sure that the photo was in values only in the black and white and then took my colors and used alternative colors for values so you can see here that the lighter colors might be red or yellow or even blue but I used a lighter value of those colors for the brights and the lights and in the same way I could use red or blue but in a more intense darker color to get the darker values and so even though the basic dog is black, you can have a lot of color and energy and movement with these varieties of colors. And this is what I have found to be the most fun way to paint for me. I'm not a realistic artist, and I have some limitations with some physical issues, so it's not like I can take a lot of time and energy to be perfect. But boy, do I have fun doing this. And I'm a child of the 60s, of the psychedelic area, era, so um, this certainly applies to the colors and the intensity and the variety that I experienced as a, a teenager and a young adult. So to, just to tell you about some joys around color and painting, one of the things that I do, I do a lot of animals, I do some people and I do landscapes. I live in Sedona, Arizona, so we do not tire of a variety of landscapes here. It is difficult to do the red rocks sometimes because of the color with the sun setting or rising and just making sure that you get the absolute um, correct proportion of color. But again, one of the things my teachers that I've had encouraged me to do is to use my creative energy and not to paint necessarily what I see, but to paint, to draw what I see, because I think that's really important, but to paint what I imagine. And so that gives a lot of joy. And one of the other things that I wanted to share with you is a recent painting that I'm working on over here, and that is of a Native American woman. And again, what I did is I took a photo of her in color, and I also, I uh, did a drawing and then did a black and white photo. So I'm going to do the painting much like this one. And you'll get to see a picture of that here shortly. So again, I just encourage people to have fun. Take workshops at your local community arts center. Um, my husband and I have started painting and doing our artwork together. And it's just something that we share and we have joy in. And it's not just sitting, wasting our time watching TV or you know, doing what everybody else does. <laughs> it gives us a spiritual boost. Thanks.